what if going to space was as simple as flying to Europe? From satellites to hypersonic flight, technology is bringing us closer and closer to the stars. I'm Sarah Lamptey and I'm here to explore the technology of tomorrow with Gemma Ball who works for Innovate UK and the Satellite Applications Catapult. So what's next for the final frontier? So the really big thing is going to be satellites. But they're everywhere we're ready, aren't they? Yes, they are. But tomorrow's satellites are going to be smaller and smarter than ever before. This means they'll be able to give super accurate weather predictions and internet connectivity all delivered from space. Essentially, it means satellites are going to be part of our everyday lives without us even realising it. So how will we use them then? Well, you might use satellites um, to help with outdoor pursuits, such as skiing, hiking or surfing. Alternatively, a farmer would use satellites to help monitor crop growth or predict diseases, all from 100 miles above the Earth. And presumably that will be more sustainable. So tell me more. So satellite imagery will be incredibly detailed and widely available. Um, it will mean that you'll be able to see cars and people moving almost in real time. But how will that affect our privacy though? Privacy concerns are understandable, um, but technology will continue to blur people's faces um, or car registration plates just as they do today. That's reassuring. So what else could we do? One of the things that we can use satellites for is asteroid mining. We'll be able to find all sorts of precious minerals to use here on Earth. Will satellites change the way we travel? Yes, absolutely. So satellites will help with super fast trains um, and put more planes in the sky, all of which will be running more efficiently and safely than ever. Also, motorways will have driverless car lanes where vehicle movements will be synchronised using data from space. And is it true that flights from London to Sydney will one day take two hours? Yes, hypersonic planes will travel 90 kilometres above the Earth at five times the speed of sound. This will dramatically reduce flight time, as well as unlock economic growth as space ports open across the globe. Finally, the big question. Will we ever live on Mars? Leaps in technology combined with our concerns for the Earth's future means that space colonisation is looking increasingly likely. Colonies will enable big scientific developments as researchers can carry out their studies on site. It may not be for the next decade or two, but we are ready for takeoff. Incredible. So what do you think? Tell us in the comments below.